Um, oh. So, that, 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 but it, it's it's either convert Twitter to that or start something new. Those are the two. But it, it does need to happen somehow. Well, it's interesting you bring that up because the price of Twitter um, is pretty high, and you've built a couple of companies, and some engineers like to come work for you. Um, and you've now gone through the intellectual exercise of studying all this. Um, if you're looking at the two choices now, fixing Twitter given all these problems, and maybe just starting your own version, which one are you leaning towards? Because I have watched you build a couple of companies and the products have turned out pretty good. So is it yeah. easier for someone like you to just start from scratch? I mean, I mean it's certainly the, my, my default inclination is to start things from scratch. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not really, I don't buy, buy things. Like there's, there's still this sort of, you know, uh, um, yeah, like, like SpaceX was started from scratch. You know, in, in the case of, of Tesla, uh, you know, it, it was like five people. There's still this guy, Mark Everhard, who's the worst guy I've ever worked with, who tries to claim like sole credit essentially for creating a Tesla. And if he's so damn great, why don't he just go, you know, create another car company when he was fired? Um, but anyway, um, so. Uh, well, I mean, that's a pretty good story. I mean, yeah. Oh I remember, he's a sad. I mean, no, but I, I remember having this conversation with you. We were having a conversation about the Roadster. I think I can tell the story. Yeah. I said, how's it going, pal? And you said, well, I got one problem. Um, it turns out the Roadster parts and putting it together cost 190,000. Yeah. And I said, I gave you 150 for number 16. So if you make 2000 of these, you're going to lose $80 million. And you were like, yeah, or double that. I mean, they basically, the parts of the car, cost more than they were selling it for when you were yes. starting to get involved. That's, it was disaster. No, no, no. I, I got involved well, well before well that. Well before that, yes. <laughs> I got involved when, when, when Twitter, when, when Tesla was, was, was yeah. nothing but a piece of paper. Let, let me they, be crystal yeah. clear. Crystal fucking clear. Yeah. Uh, no, they didn't bring me in <laughs> yeah. either. Uh, I, I, I was going to start, I was going to start a, a, an EV company yeah. with J.V. Strangable. And, and uh, based on the the AC propulsion T zero, uh, yes. and when I when I asked AC propulsion if it was okay to do that, uh, they said, well, there's also some others who want to create an EV company, but have not created one yet. Yes, would you like to join forces with them? And I said, okay, well, we'll do that. That was a huge mistake. JB and I should have just started the car company ourselves. Instead, uh, we uh, teamed up with uh, Everhard, Topping and Wright. Um, big mistake. Uh, the, 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 the actual moral error here was me trying to have my cake and eat it too, which is like, uh, I just want to work on the technology and the product and have someone else be the CEO and, and, and sort of run the business operations because I just like working on technology and product and design. And, um, and, and also, I was like doing SpaceX, uh, you know, uh, at the time and our rockets were blowing up. So it seemed like, uh, okay, this is like, I always wanted to do an electric car company. This is how I can have my cake and eat it too. Uh, that was a huge mistake and fundamentally a moral error. Um, and uh, so, so uh, in the end, I had to freaking be CEO and I didn't want to be, basically. Um, uh, so, but it's either that or the company's going to die. So, uh, so we started with, with really just nothing. And uh, the, uh, you know, the, the T0 prototype from AC propulsion, not, not, it, it, that's, the, that's the precursor to Tesla. Um, yeah. To be one hundred percent clear, once again, uh, when uh, we created Tesla, I, when I when I joined, there were no no employees, there was no intellectual property, there was no prototype, there was no nothing. Yeah. To be yeah. crystal fucking clear. And <laughs> It almost bankrupted you. I mean, you that, yes. that sent you to the cliff of insolvency. Yeah. I mean, that was yes. We were on the ragged edge of bankruptcy so many times it was ridiculous. Um, so, um, and what, 2008 was one of the worst years where basically the you know GM and Ford, just the GM, GM and Chrysler, yeah, Chrysler went went uh, Ford almost went bankrupt, and. Um, you know, trying to raise money for a startup electric car company in 2008 while GM is going bankrupt was uh, difficult to say the least. Um, and, and, you know, people were angry that I even asked them uh, for money. Um, they're like, fuck you and hang up. <laughs> 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 so the, the only way that, 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 that Tesla actually made it through 2008 was uh, a subset of the existing investors um, 
which includes like people like Antonio Gracias and uh, you know um, Steve Jovetson and and, and, a, and a, a few other key people, Ira Aaron Price, uh, who, who, who I hold a debt of gratitude to this day. Um, and and I, I I put in all the money I had left, and they said everything. they meant everything, literally everything. Um, uh, I didn't even have a house, uh, so uh, this is my ex, my ex wife had the house. So I was like staying actually in Jeff Skull's bedroom, a spare bedroom. <laughs> yeah. um, and, uh, and, but there was the, 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 uh, the, the subset of the bestest would say, that, okay, if I put in, they put in as much as I put in. So I put in everything. Um, and, and then we closed that round 6 p.m. Uh, Christmas Eve, 2008. It was the last hour of the last day that it was possible because after that, people were like, I break for the holidays and we would have bounced payroll two days after Christmas. It was, uh, Pretty, That's doorstep. I mean, it was an yeah. incredible moment in time, and, and people also forget at the time that the first two rockets SpaceX sent up uh, didn't exactly make it to orbit. Like one the of first three, half, right. yeah, the first three. And I remember having dinner with you at that time, and I asked you, "Hey, how's it going?" I heard uh, Gawker says you got four weeks of payroll left, and you said that's not true. And I said, "Thank God." And you said, "We have two." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I said. Absolutely. I said, no, I mean, both SpaceX and Tesla in 2008, if we'd simply paid our suppliers on time, we would have gone bankrupt immediately. I, I, tell us, tell us actually, uh, it, was a, it was a pretty crazy moment in time because I also remember asking you, at, we were having dinner at BOA and I said, well, well certainly it's got to be some good news. And you took out your BlackBerry to date the conversation. I don't remember it. Oh, yeah. And you, showed, and you said, don't tell anybody, Jake. Cow. I said, no problem. And you showed me the clay version of the Model S. Yeah. The most beautiful car I'd ever seen. And I said, oh my God, it's stunning. Um, how much is it going to cost? He said, I think I can make it for 50000 I remember it was yesterday. I said, if you make that car for 50000 you'll change the fucking world. And you did it. And I, yeah, it was I, a little more than 50000 but uh, yeah. yeah thank you. you did. <laughs> Let's ask about SpaceX. Okay, well, that's about SpaceX, but I, I want to ask one more personal question. Has life gotten easier for you as these companies have hit scale, or has the complexity made life even more challenging? Because those early days, it was just fighting to survive. Nobody knew who you were, you were anonymous, um, and it was really just about the work. And now, let's face it, you're the world's most famous guy. Um, and everybody's watching everything you do, but these companies are also very big. So what's life like for you today? Are you enjoying what you're doing every day? Um, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's somewhat of a roller coaster. Um, so there are like good days and bad days. Um, and there's, there are also crisis issues. Um, and, you know, like sort of, you know, knock on wood, like we're not like uh, facing, you know, death in the face. Like, like it's, it's, it's definitely like quite stressful when like, you know, death is like tr trying to eat your face off and like the, the foam is like, you know, just getting it. And, and like, yeah, <laughs> right there, you know, <laughs> you know, that's, it, it's pretty stressful in that situation. Um, so like, right, you know, both SpaceX and Tesla have, um, you know, significant cash reserves. So like, it, you know, it's not, we're staring death in the face. We can sort of see it over in the horizon, you know, so I don't want to get complacent or entitled because, um, but, it, but, it, but if it's not like just sort of foaming at the mouth and gnashing, trying to eat your face off uh, on a daily basis, that's, that's certainly, it's, we're, we've moved on from that point um, and hopefully never, never return. Um, but, but there are a lot of issues that need to be, it's just like the, the if, if you're a CEO of a company, the chore level is high. And if you don't do your chores, then the company goes to hell. And I hate doing, doing chores, frankly. So uh, who, do, who does? Uh, so th that's the real, like there's a whole bunch of sort of, uh, you know, personnel issues and legal issues and, and, and things that I, I, I don't find enjoyable to work on. But if I don't work on them, the company suffers. So it's more like just the sheer volume of work is insane. That's the, uh, and then, and then, you know, go do some, go add to it you know, with, you know, Twitter or something like that. Um, yeah. But I mean, honestly, Find I'm your extra processor. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I have a habit of biting off more than I can chew and then just sitting there with like chipmunk cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, uh, 